Hello, my name is Alyssa Rash, and I am the Benton County Public Information Officer. Between Tuesday and Thursday, Benton County announced 24 new cases of COVID-19. None of these people were hospitalized at the time that they were diagnosed. Today, Benton County announces 19 new cases of COVID-19. One person is hospitalized and the others were not hospitalized at the time they were diagnosed. This week, Benton County has three public health metrics that we are not meeting. For the measure, percent increase in cases in the last seven days. Last week, Benton County had an 85% increase in new cases. This week, Benton County has a 113% increase in new cases. For the measure, percent of cases not traced to a known source in the last seven days. Last week, Benton County had 42% of cases not traced to a known source. This week, Benton County has 44% of cases not traced to a known source. For the measure, percent of cases in the last seven days with follow-up within 24 hours. Last week, Benton County followed up with 96% of cases within 24 hours. This week, Benton County followed up with 90% of cases within 24 hours. Thanksgiving may look different this year. Between Governor Brown's limits on social gathering and the recommendations of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Oregon Health Authority, many of us are looking at pared down holiday plans. Following the governor's two week freeze, gatherings should be no more than six people and no more than two households. The CDC takes this a little further and recommends staying home this holiday to avoid spreading COVID-19 to vulnerable loved ones. The reality is that COVID-19 cases in our community are surging and hospital systems across Oregon are reaching capacity. We can turn the tide on these patterns, but it takes all of us. It takes making the hard decision to have Thanksgiving with only your household members, to physically distance when we are around others, and to wear masks anytime we are outside of our homes. I don't say these things lightly. COVID fatigue is wearing on all of us. I miss my family. I miss seeing and hugging my friends, and I even miss just going to dinner with my partner. I'm sure you miss your people and experiences too. But this isn't forever. It's just for now so that we can protect those that we love and keep hospital beds open for those that need them. Please do your part to keep yourself, your loved ones, and our community safe. Don't bring COVID home for the holidays. Stay safe and be well.